Something I don't understand is why men can have phones. <laughs> why? Uh. So they can follow you on Instagram. So they can follow you on Snapchat and Instagram. And this career choice and business woman. Men do not want a woman that needs them. Men want a woman that wants them. There's a huge difference there. The woman who needs a man expects him to provide and pay for everything because she can't provide for herself. These are the same women who have no job, no source of income, and they try to flip the script on men and try to make them feel inadequate, saying they need a man who can provide for both of them off of one income when it's just unrealistic for one. In this economy, excuse me they're like i don't need a job i need a man who makes enough money for the both of us are you hearing yourself right now when a woman has her own money has her own job then the man knows that he's not using him because she has nothing when you're broke you need a man to live to survive she might not even love you she might just like what you can provide or what you do for her trying to finesse men for their money a real woman doesn't need a man doesn't need you she wants you you are still saying this uh, repeating the same talking points over and over again like a real woman does this and a real woman's like why why are you so obsessed about what a real woman does and thinks and all that stuff who are you to decide what the real woman actually does want and need and <laughs> ladies this is a hard truth but if men can plan d-day they can plan a date Air, land, and sea invasion, 150,000 troops, 5,000 ships, men coordinated, all of that. And every single guy would much rather not go on a date than go on a date with you. I absolutely don't blame guys to go for a younger girls, not only because of look-wise, but because they are more fun. I recently went for a dinner with my friend. I looked at this couple and I realized that this is their first date. So she proceeding telling this guy that, I'm in my 30, like, I don't play games anymore, like, I need to know your social security number, your your job, your position, what's your plan, da 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 da. I mean, like, girl, relax. He got scared. I think it took them 15 minutes to get a check, and, like, he ran away from her. I just turned 30, and I understand, like, you want to be strategic about your days because you don't want to waste your time. But like, listen, guys are spoiled nowadays. You be fun, be be normal. At least like a couple first dates. And then you proceed asking all these questions, but not on a first date. Are you crazy? Are you crazy, girl? Oh my God. If you want to know exactly who you're going to marry, the qualities of the spouse you're going to marry, you need to be looking at your seventh house. No, I don't have seven houses and I'm not going to take any advice from someone that looks like this. One thing I've come to terms with is it really does not matter the age of the man that you're dating. If he's older, that does not necessarily mean he's going to treat you better or be more mature. Trust me. I've dated some early 40s guys and I go into it thinking like, okay, they're already established. They're grown. You know, they're tired of this little boy crap being petty. Probably not going to do that. Wrong. They're still men and it just depends on the person. You'll just have to get to know him and see if he's cray cray or not. Actually, one of the pettiest men I've ever dated was like one of the oldest men I've dated. So no emotional intelligence. Like I'm 27, so I've dated anywhere from 26 to like 47. So there is oh. really not much of a difference between the two various ages. Don't let that be a reason to this date is. an older guy just thinking that maybe he'll be more mature because that's not always the case. You see, you see the common denominator in all of this uh, dating stories is you, honey. And the fact that you go for someone that's 47, what dating do you want to get from a guy who's 47? Most likely he's already established, most likely he already has a family like kids and he's divorced. So you actually just want to go after his money. And women that will say, oh, all men are the same, all men want to do this. No, it's just the guys that you choose to date based on certain cues and that's just the taste that you have in men and you have to uh, you have to accept that. There's no more males left. We don't know what happened to them. We don't know when they're coming back. Mm. But what's something you the way I would dress like the biggest biddies out all the time. My flat chested <laughs> little biddies out. I'd sleep with my windows cracked. I live on the first floor in an apartment. There's no bars on the window. I can't do that now. I'd walk my dog all hours of the night. 
I'd also listen to my music full blast while I was walking so I didn't have to be aware of my surroundings. I would sit in my car in an empty parking lot. I'd also sit in my car and take my sweet time getting ready to go when I'm at the gas station. Speaking of the gas station, I would go with a full beat every time I went. I would drink more, I think, especially in public. I'd wear a bathing suit top when it was really hot out. I'd go swimming at public pools. I'd stop having my friends check my location after getting an Uber. I would kind of just exist, to be honest. Honey, are you okay? Like, when was the last time a man, like, hugged you? <laughs> Straight people are getting too comfortable. Mm. I said what I said. Mm. Some things are not yours to talk mm. about, joke about, or say. Mm. And you should go back to being deathly afraid of offending people. I am not afraid of offending people and I never will be afraid of offending people because I do not care about the people's uh, all sorts of like narcissistic opinions about bullshit. That doesn't matter anyway. I was trying to explain to someone that after you date douchebag after douchebag after douchebag, a nice guy is going to come around and he's going to try to treat you nice and you're going to be like, no, that's not real. That's not, God bless his soul, like... As you see, women that they douche bag after douche bag after that, yeah, they are toxic. So obviously they are atta attracted to toxic behavior. That's why they go for this stupid idiot. And when they see a good guy, they find that repulsive. I got a new beauty blender in today. It looks like this. From the other reviews, they okay. say you're supposed to just like... Mm-hmm. That's exactly what you, you should be doing. You mean to tell me that all these years I've had my very own built-in beauty blender and I'm just now finding out about it? Yeah, I do have like uh, three of them colored. Let's check them out. 